Hello everyone and welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about the novelized adaptation of Interstellar. <clears throat> now, um, it's not really all that unique. There are also plenty of other, um, you know, novelized uh, adaptations of other movies as well. From Conan the Barbarian to Firefly, or Serenity to, to, um, <clears throat> oh, there are just a lot of other stuff. You know, and, um, and, like, you probably might wonder why, you know, like, turning a mo <clears throat> turning a popular book into a movie is one thing, but the other way around, well, um, well, actually, a lot of times it can actually be pretty, pretty good, you know, like, um, <clears throat> and they can, like, add stuff, like, um, <clears throat> you know, like, uh, maybe a scene that wasn't in the movie, but probably would have helped a lot, and, um, you know, would have imp really, like, improved it, well, they can, like, have that in the book because they don't have to worry about things like, you know, shooting extra footage or special effects or what have you. It's just, well, the book. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. Yeah, so, like, yeah, on the one hand, like, it's the movie, but without the, you know, visuals or acting or or soundtrack, but sometimes they can still, they can do a really good job. <clears throat> you know, um, like, uh, one example, like, a couple examples, um, Conan the Barbarian, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the latest version, like, in the movie, he just goes right from, like, swearing revenge against the guy that killed his dad, <clears throat> to adulthood. But in the, in the book, like, there's this whole bit where he's, like, actually being, like, brought up by his grandfather and <clears throat> and getting in, into like his one of his first major like military engagements like not not like the ambush like when he was in the village but like the big thing where like all the clans get together to for like the siege of this town and uh yeah it's really cool and um then there's like other stuff like uh the novelized adaptation of the movie doom <clears throat> and uh you know, we get this little thing where, like, all of the different Marines that die, like, we see it sort of from their perspective and get, like, a bit of their backstory, but, um, um, like, not really enough to get you that attached, but, like, just enough to get you attached and go, like, aw, you know, when they die. And, um, I've been going on long enough without actually talking about the, this thing here, because, to be honest, like, as long as I might be, um, just put it bluntly, the the novelized adaptation of Interstellar is not good. <clears throat> I mean, it just it, it's basically the script to Interstellar, but as you might think, it what like how any typical novel adaptation of a movie would be. You know, like it's just the movie, but without the acting or the visuals or the special effects or the soundtrack or any of that stuff. <clears throat> I mean, it pretty much adds nothing to the table, and as a result of that, it actually kind of makes me, like, uh, think about, like, all the plot holes and, and flaws with the actual movie itself even more so than usual. I mean, <clears throat> like how uh, stupid uh, Plan A is, you know? Like how they apparently have enough, like, Plan A build a bunch of uh, city-sized cylinders underground and hope that someday we'll figure out how to learn how to control gravity and take off the planet Earth in these city-sized cylindrical colony craft. Really? Like, that, that idea is just so stupid. Like, and they talk about the resources and how they don't have money to do all this other stuff. Like, oh, so, so they have enough money to build massive city-sized colonies underground and maybe someday figure out how to figure out how to control gravity and lift all those things up into space but we don't have enough uh, resources to build a rocket and build some endurance sized craft that are like not even a tenth of the size or even a twentieth a, a, a well, probably not even one percent of the size of the actual colonies that they're going to be launching, you know. 
just uh <clears throat> yeah and then there's like why why did they go to that water planet you know like you you think one hour equaling seven years would have automatically written that whole place off as a big no on you know colonizing so why the hell would they even send the initial p person there <clears throat> you know just just so yeah and um and you know like <clears throat> and or like why if the big wormhole was such a big deal why didn't they go through it ever again i mean there's um like it seems like all of the colonies like or like around uh, saturn but to, as far as i could tell they d they haven't really sent anybody else beyond the um into the wormhole aside from like you know cooper and the endurance crew after the anybody after him <clears throat> or um or like what else i mean like or um yeah <clears throat> And, um, yeah, anyway, uh, you know, like, so, like, for all these reasons that I can't help but just think about now that, you know, I, that I've got this, like, I'm going to give the novelized adaptation of Interstellar, not the movie, the, not, I'm just talking about the novelized adaptation, a, com my second ever one out of five, definitely not recommended. <clears throat> you know, you know, like, uh, you know, it's like, it's everything that you'd probably think, like, a, a movie, a, a novelized adaptation of a movie would be, <clears throat> you know, it's just, just dull, no, doesn't have any of the, any, like, it doesn't add anything, and doesn't, does, doesn't add any special other scenes or whatever have you to like maybe answer some plot holes or what what it's just <clears throat> it's just not good you know and like again definitely not recommended and um <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> um next time i'm going to be talking about something that you're probably be even less expecting to see a uh, novelized adaptation of a video game yeah. And until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome by going out and supporting your local bookstores and libraries with, you know, your patronage money, donations, volunteering, and so on and so forth. And have a nice day. <clears throat>